ATSD or Autism Spectrum Disorder is a general term for a group of complex disorders of brain development. These disorders are characterized in varying degrees by difficulties in social interaction, verbal and nonverbal communication, and repetitive behaviors. ASD can be associated with intellectual disability, difficulties in motor coordination and attention, and physical health issues such as sleep and gastrointestinal disturbances. Some persons with ASD excel in visual skills, music, math, and art. Autism statistics from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention identify around 1 in 88 American children has on the autism spectrum. An estimated 1 out of 54 boys and 1 in 252 girls are diagnosed with autism in the United States. What causes autism? Not long ago, the answer to this question would have been, we have no idea. Research is now delivering the answers. First and foremost, we know that there is not one cause of autism, just as there is not just one type. Over the last five years, scientists have identified a number of rare, rare gene changes or mutations associated with autism. A small number of these are sufficient to cause autism by themselves. Most cases of autism, however, appear to be caused by a combination of autism risk genes and environmental factors influencing early brain development. Indeed, many persons on the spectrum take deserved pride in their distinctive abilities and atypical ways of viewing the world. Others with autism have significant disability and are unable to live independently. About 25% of individuals with ASD are nonverbal but can learn to communicate using other means. The number of children diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder has rapidly increased in recent years. Best estimate of current prevalence of children with ASD is just over 1 per 100 and males are four times more likely to be diagnosed than females. Early diagnosis is recommended for effective intervention services for children and families. Child abuse kills more children in America than accidental faults, choking on food, suffocation or fires in the home. It is sad to reflect on how many innocent and vulnerable children are living in homes where abuse is just part of life. In 2005, more than 3.5 million children were reported as victims of child abuse or neglect and 1,460 died, meaning that every six hours a child in the United States dies due to abuse or neglect. The staggering truth is that before today is over, four children will die because their little bodies cannot bear any more abuse. Within homeless families, more than 1.3 million children are homeless at some time every year. On any given day, at least 800,000 Americans, including about 200,000 children, find themselves without a home. Many of these families and children have experienced trauma prior to becoming homeless. The experience of homelessness results in a loss of community, routines, possessions, privacy and security. Children and families who live in shelters need to make significant adjustments to shelter living and are confronted by other problems, such as the need to reestablish a home, interpersonal difficulties, mental and physical problems, and child-related difficulties. Art and music therapy are creative processes that improve and enhance the mental and emotional well-being of individuals of all ages. They help improve motor skills, sequencing, organization, attention span, cognitive processing, problem solving, flexibility, socialization, impulse control, and more. As a result, the patients will end up reducing stress, 
and increasing self-esteem. Art and music making can be an effective therapy for children with autism because they tend to have difficulty processing sensory input and are often nonverbal. Autistics respond well to visual, concrete, hands-on therapies. Art therapists often give simple instructions like draw or paint how you feel right now or select and draw objects in this room or draw yourself and your family doing something. These directions should help the child express through drawing what they cannot express through words. Art therapy for children victims of violence can be complicated. The child usually focuses on drawing about monsters, violence, crisis, etc. They create visual metaphors for their past experiences. But if successful, they can express all their internal conflicts and release them through art. As a child learns to love art, the activity can become comforting, wherein true feelings and perceptions can be experienced. The music therapist identifies musical elements, temporal beat, rhythmic patterns, pitch range, and melodic contour in the child's musical and non-musical behavior, then provides a predictable and supportive musical structure to attract and engage the child. This happens mainly through non-verbal expression, such as instrumental exchanges, eye contact, facial expressions, movement, and gestures. In this context, the children often appear to perceive and experience the therapist's music as related to their own expression, which may motivate them to respond, join in, and initiate further musical interaction with the therapist. Different methods may be used, such as improvising, which helps the child's creativity. Specific instruments that make different sounds can stimulate the brain. Involvement in music may provide a distraction from the discomfort and anxiety often associated with their issues. I'm Deb Shoemaker and I'm an art therapist with Integrated Therapy Associates and now I'm going to present to you some basic information about how art therapy can be used with children who have autism. I've worked for years with um, children and adults on the autistic spectrum. It's a, a varied and variety of approaches <laughs> depending on the individual. With people um, who are on the autistic spectrum generally ha are highly motivated by what they're motivated by. My number one goal for me is to find out what motivates them and what their interests are. And then I kind of build our program around that. Usually I'm not presenting brand new things because they, they bring their interest to me. And then I try to meet them where, where they are. So if they like to draw on paper with a black Sharpie pen, I, find, I make sure I have that the next time they come. and and lots of them. Sometimes it's, it is part of their goals for me to introduce new things. The skills that we learn in the art therapy session can be transferred out to the real world and out to the school. So being able to practice those decision-making skills or working with something that's tactilely uh, repulsive in here um, in a safe place can maybe make it feel less uh, unsafe and then becomes familiar and, and safe and then they can go out into their classroom and do an art project in school and be kind of desensitized to getting glue on their hands and not having a meltdown because we've done it lots of times in here one-on-one -on -one in a safe place. Identity, also called sameness, is whatever makes an entity definable and recognizable. Abuse and autistic children have difficulties expressing themselves, part of it because of the trauma they have been through and because of their mental state. Art is a unique form of showing identity. Everyone has a particular point of view of the world, and that is what makes people special. Expressing the way they see the world through music and art is the perfect way these children have to show themselves as definable and particular individuals. 
The Miami Children's Hospital Foundation has a 10-week Saturday group program for children of all ages in which music and movement therapy is used to promote positive social skills, improve motor and cognitive skills, and increase attention span and memory skills. Therapeutic sessions will include musical games, physical activities, playing various instruments, and singing. Singing helps develop speech and language skills. Many parents and therapists say their child's behavior and communication skills do improve and that the children seem to enjoy them. Uphold the right of all without discrimination to a natural and social environment supportive of human dignity, bodily health and spiritual well-being with a special attention to the rights of indigenous people and minorities. Integrate into formal education and lifelong learning the knowledge, values, and skills needed for a sustainable way of life.